was not happy then playing in the NBA, so I left. The few things I knew about China was it was far from the U.S. I had heard about the Great Wall, and I knew about Yao Ming because the Houston Rockets had drafted him number one in the 2002 NBA draft. That was it. I grew up in New York City where there's a large Chinese population in Chinatown. Still, I knew very little about the Chinese people, their philosophy and culture. That got me to wondering, how would the people in China treat me once I got there? I had a lot of time to think about that answer since my flight from New York to China was more than 13 hours. When my flight landed and I stepped foot on China soil, love welcomed me here. Let me say that again. I was greeted with love by thousands of people from China. To my pleasant surprise, they smiled at me and held up signs stating, welcome to China. That made me feel like the Chinese people would love me as one of their own. My mother always says, there are some things in life you want, and then there are some things you need. I needed to feel love at that exact moment, and you all made me feel that way when I needed love the most. Because of that, I will forever be grateful to the people of China. China, you have won my heart. <laughs> this type of love was so crucial to my existence. Crucial because it helped me to rebuild and redeem my life and myself. I first came to China to play basketball in the CBA, into a place more than 300 million people play the game of basketball I now love. That many people is more than all the people in America. I initially considered staying in China for just a few years, max. But love, the love the Chinese people have showered me with has convinced me to stay and make China my second home.